hey there welcome to my channel if you are new please consider subscribing today we are chatting with regards to a very crucial topic a topic that is central to each and every one of us who happen to at times find ourselves being a part of the online community today we are going to talk about fishing but before we do we need to understand exactly what is meant by fishing fishing is a type of cyber attack where malicious actors attempt to deceive individuals into revealing sensitive information the information such as usernames, passwords, credit card details, or social security numbers. Normally, the attackers typically most create as trustworthy entities such as banks, government organizations, or well-known companies to gain the target's trust. Normally, the attackers would use various tactics to trick individuals into providing their sensitive information. Normally, during fishing, the attackers would not give you a lot of time to think and to, to be on your senses. They will always want to catch you off guard. Phishing attacks often occur through the deceptive image, although they can also take the form of text messages, phone calls, or instant messages. The messages or communications will typically contain a sense of agency or importance, urging the recipient to take immediate action. To avoid phishing attempts and protect your personal information online, here are some essential steps to follow. Number one, be cautious with email communications. Normally, phishing often occurs through deceptive emails you need to pay attention to suspicious emails asking for personal information. Edging immediate action or using generic greetings. Avoid clicking on links or downloading attachments from unknown or untrusted sources. Two, always verify the sender's identity. It remains your responsibility to check the email address of the sender to ensure it matches the official email address of the organization they claim to represent. Be wary of minor variations or misspellings. Be skeptical number three of requests for personal information. Legitimate organization hardly ask for personal data such as passwords, credit cards, or social security numbers. 
via emails. If you receive such a request, it's best to contact the organization directly through their official website or phone number to verify the request's legitimacy. Number four, double check the website's URL. Fishers often create fake websites that mimic legitimate ones. Before entering any personal data, verify that the website's URL starts with HTTPS. Number five, keep your software up to date. Regularly update your operating system, web browsers, and security software. These updates often include patches for known vulnerabilities that fishers may exploit. Number six, use strong and unique passwords. It is one's responsibility to practice the creation of strong passwords with a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. Avoid using easily guessable information like your name or date of birth. Additionally, use a unique password for each online account to minimize the potential damage if one account has been compromised. Number seven, enable two-factor authentication. Whenever possible, enable two-factor authentication for your online accounts. This adds an extra layer of security by requiring a verification code, usually sent to your mobile device, in addition to your password. Number eight, be cautious with sharing personal information online. Be mindful of the information you share on social media platforms and other online channels. Avoid providing sensitive personal details unless it is absolutely necessary. And ensure you trust the platform or website with which you are sharing the information. Educate yourself, number nine, Stay informed about current phishing techniques and common scams. By educating yourself, you will be better equipped to identify potential phishing attempts. Number 10 and lastly, use reliable security software. Install repeatable antivirus and anti-malware software on your devices because these programs can help detect and prevent phishing attacks among other types of threats thank you very much for watching this video please like it subscribe on my channel and hit that notification bell until we meet again take good care i love you all